Well, we're at Chili's messing around. We're celebrating. We, we invented something to celebrate, and now we're celebrating it. We don't need a reason to we celebrate. We don't really need a reason to So we just <laughs> to came celebrate. here to celebrate the and have lunch. The sun came up and we celebrate that. But we're still showing you guys video from the Narrow Gauge Convention. Mm -hmm. This week, we want to take you to Fort Collins to show you their amazing trolley. Right. Because boy, do they have an amazing trolley. And Fort Collins itself is... It's a cool town. It's a beautiful town. I love it there. It's, it's mm -hmm. right out of Norman Rockwell. Right. Just really cool. And they have this cool trolley. And back in 1996, I filmed a videotaped, literal tape, uh, the Denver trolley. Oh, right. Since wow. the convention was in Denver, we didn't get over to the trolley uh, as part of this convention, there was just so much to do. Yeah. So I want to show you this old footage of the Denver trolley, which also includes, of all things, a big boy locomotive. Wow. So check this out. Here in the city park, we find the Fort Collins car barn, complete with a number four switch. How about that? You see those on model railroads, but never in real life. The car barn here in the park is a two-stall car barn. This is good since these guys actually have a second trolley. They're restoring that now in another car barn facility, which is located downtown. But that will give them car 21 here and car 25 once they get that restored. The one and a half mile journey runs right up the middle of Mountain Avenue in a grassy median. Mountain Avenue is incredibly wide. It's almost like a parkway. I love the sound of a trolley sliding along a trolley wire. It's always nice to ride the trolley here in Fort Collins. Fort Collins is a a nice little, it's a city, but it gives you the impression of being a small town. The streets are tree-lined and there's a lot of uh, Victorian style houses and a few from turn of the century. Really nice. Fort Collins originally had nine different trolleys operating on three separate lines. Not a very extensive system. It was owned by the Colorado and Southern, which is to say the Union Pacific Railroad, who had also built the incredibly extensive trolley system in Salt Lake City, and we've got a really fun show up on that. The Fort Collins Municipal Railway Society started work on this car back in 1977. It also involved restoring the track here on Mountain Avenue, but they got the car up and running by 1984, and it's been running ever since. In 2007, they were able to acquire car number 25, and they removed that to the old Howell Street car barns, which are still here in Fort Collins, and started restoration. It should be finished pretty soon. They're still raising money if you want to help them out with that. And then they'll be working two cars on this line. In 1918, the city of Fort Collins opted to purchase the trolley system from the Union Pacific and operate it themselves. They rebuilt the tracks and purchased several new Bernie trolley cars, just like 21 here. They continued to operate the little system until 1951, making them one of the last cities with a regularly scheduled trolley system. The line runs from Howell Street up to the city park and they've got a nifty little train station in the city park that used to be one of the actual trolley stops for the Fort Collins Municipal Railway. And it was moved here to the park and restored. The restoration on this trolley is supreme. I have never seen such attention to detail. The inside is beautiful. The outside is painted wonderfully. Not hard to fall in love with this.
Well, we were attending the 2017 Narrow Gauge Convention here in Denver, but several years ago I was attending a rail convention here and had the opportunity to ride the Platte Valley Trolley, the trolley which runs right along the river through the heart of Denver. The system was built by the Denver Tramway Historical Society in 1989. It's a really beautiful route running right along the river opposite the Elich Gardens Amusement Park. There's a lot of fun things to do in this area, one of which is the Forney Museum. They have a lot of different transportation devices, one of which is a Union Pacific Big Boy locomotive. This is its old location. This is now a, a climbing gym, and all of this has been moved to a new building right nearby. Now, unlike the Fort Collins trolley, this is not an antique trolley. It's a brand new trolley. It's also not running on overhead wire, if you will notice. They didn't have a budget for putting in wire, so instead they just rigged a gasoline generator on board and they generate the needed electricity that way. Perhaps someday they will replace that with overhead wire, and that would be really cool. In the meantime, they sure have a fun ride here, running right through the heart of the city, and this certainly does demonstrate to other cities that might be interested that you can purchase a brand new trolley that looks antique and even run it without rigging overhead wire, just running it on a gasoline engine if that's what you want to do. So if you find yourself in the Denver area and you want to ride a fun trolley and for that matter check out a really cool museum that even has a big boy locomotive, well come on downtown and ride the Platte Valley Trolley. And if you want to ride a real antique trolley, head on up to Fort Collins and ride their municipal trolley system. It's really an enormous amount of fun, and pretty soon this passing track is going to be used again because they will be adding their second car running in an opposing direction. And that will be something to see, and we'll be heading back here to ride it. Well, I suppose riding around on standard gauge trolleys wouldn't be the first thing you think of when you think about attending a narrow gauge convention. But what the heck, it's an enormous amount of fun. It is, after all, a train. And I suppose you could make the argument that since this system was built by the CNS, which most certainly was a narrow gauge steam railroad, well, this kind of fits into that genre, I suppose. Bottom line is it's an enormous amount of fun and it is a classic, classic example of screwing around with trains. Well, there you have it, the Fort Collins trolley, and we sure had a lot of fun with it. We did. And in their gift shop, they had a Corgi uh, model of their that. trolley. Right, is that cool? So, duh, we had to get right. that. Look at this. And we're going to oh, play with it. Of course, I've got other souvenirs in there. we got some other little souvenirs oh, and things man. going on. This but it's so really a neat, neat model. Check it out. And I want to take this over to Steve's and just set it on the high street. Now, high street's three foot gauge. This is standard gauge, so it's... But it'll look okay. I just want to get some neat pictures of it at Steve's on the High Street uh, tram line. 
And uh, how cool is this? Oh, it's it's really world. well put together. Wow, isn't that awesome? It's just really cool. It uh, sure hard out. Makes me wonder what it would take to actually make it into an operational model. Oh my to roll down the track. But as it stands, it just kind of rolls along uh -huh. and a static model. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much cool enough, just mm -hmm. like that. Oh, it's, it's lovely, I love it. Well, if you haven't been to the channel to watch the other 220 whatever it is movies that are over there, get on over to the channel and right. watch, binge watch. Yes. Get there, stay there for days, pack a lunch, uh, and just binge watch everything or you can just keep coming back and watching right. stuff. There's a tremendous amount of stuff and you can get to the channel and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the blue button. Zoink! Blue button says subscribe. Makes you a subscriber. If you're already a subscriber, it just takes you over there. And if you don't see the blue button, it's because not all devices support the blue button. Tragic. Tragic. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again next week with some more screwing around at the Narrow Gauge Convention. <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye.